Hi, so I'm Dada. We are so pleased to have you here Hello. as a guest speaker today at Science Club FC. So you may start. Okay. Thank you. Uh, am I audible? Can you confirm? Science Club FC presents you the most awaited talk by Mr. Swarnim Shirke. Swarnim was All India Rank 1 in IIT Jam 2018. He is also an alum of Ferguson College, Pune, and currently he is studying physics in IIT Bombay. So, hi, Swarnim Dada. We are so pleased to have you here Hello. as a guest speaker today at Science Club FC. Uh, Science Club has invited me for a talk on IIT Jam. I am sure that since everyone has registered for this webinar come interactive session, so most of you know me. Just uh, some extra things that you probably might not know, just as an introduction. So I was the student of Ferguson College, uh, even in junior college, 11th and 12th. Then I joined at the same college Ferguson for my BSc and now I'm I have actually completed my MSc at IIT Bombay and also I have been the uh, medalist of physics department at IIT as well as in Pune University I was ranked three so I hope I could share some of my experience with you originally this talk I was told to talk about IIT jam exam uh, but it's no secret about there's no secrets about the exam you can just go and look up there's nothing that only I can tell you about it, but still, as for the formality, I'll tell you about the exam, what it is, and then the more fo more focus will be on about my experience, and then we'll have some question answers, so that most of you might have questions that I might not be able to guess, like what is going on in your mind. So we'll have an interactive session. So let's begin. First, I would talk about IIT, not IIT, just JAM exam. It is Joint Admission Test for Masters. It is jointly organized by IITs and IISC. So people who have done their bachelor's and want to get into master's, either MSc or integrated PhD, JAM is an exam when it comes to IITs and ISC. So ISC offers integrated PhD program and IITs offer MSc as well as integrated PhD depending upon which IIT are you uh, talking about. So I will mostly be talking about physics because I know about physics but most of the things are applicable to other subjects as well as I understand that the audience is not physics specific but in general most are but all of them are BSc students that's what I understand. So you basically appear for it in third year so paper pattern is basically the three types of questions MCQs where you select only and there is only, where there is only one type one correct answer and there is multiple select questions where there are multiple correct answers and then there are numerical type questions where there is an answer which is a number specifically how is it conducted uh, it is I've not given many exams before that but in BSc I gave quite a lot of exam after BSc like JAM, JEST, EIFR, GS, INAT then I've given NET and JAM is one of the most neatly organized exams that I have experienced. Just appearing for the exam is a fun experience. And so the setup is like there was some management institute uh, in the outskirts of Pune. We went there, everything was taken care of. We are not allowed to take anything inside, not even calculators, <coughs> mobile phones, of obviously not, not even draft papers. Everything is provided inside. Even things like water bottles are provided in the exam itself. And there's it is a computer-based exam. You go there, you get a screen on your computer. And there is a timer on, uh, on the top right. And when the exam begins, the timer starts to count down. And when the time is up, the time is up. So, and the software is very easy to use, and it's a commonly used software. So, that is not an issue. Another thing uh, which is important is the you should take note of the cutoff um, about jam exam. So, different subjects have different cutoffs. Uh, for example, and there are other exams also that I gave like JEST and TFR, INAT and the same thing goes that you can check the check uh, paper pattern and their syllabus online tf uh, inat doesn't have any syllabus as such inat is ayuka ncra admission test which 
you should know that you can appear in your third year of BSc itself. It is specifically for astronomy though. Uh, and you can get pre-selected when I gave INIT in third year, but they pre-selected in me in third year itself because they th so the condition was that I just complete my MSc somewhere and then I can just go and join PhD. So you already, there's a possibility of already getting an offer in BSc itself.